How's it flying guys? This is Lance Corporal Hawk 30 and well I'm gonna be doing a little bit of an impromptu review of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie in a swing chair. Yeah, no, that's kinda cool. Uh anywho, what did I think of Sonic the Hedgehog the movie? Uh and this is gonna be a no spoiler review as well, so don't worry about being spoiled, at least not in any major way. Um I personally thought that it was a good movie. I went with my mother, and even she was thinking that it wasn't a bad movie. You have to pardon sounds in the background. I'm setting up Netflix so I can watch some Power Rangers. Woo -hoo -hoo. But I was a little surprised at how much she enjoyed it. She enjoyed the story, and I enjoyed the story as well. And back to me, because this is my review. Um, yes, I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the the way they portrayed Sonic a little better than I was originally anticipating. I really liked Jane Marsden's character. Um, uh, Jim Carrey was a blast to watch. De definitely got the superiority complex of Robotnik down. But then again, it's been a while since I've seen anything with anything official Robotnik related. So, but anyways, uh, I thought it was very good, very well done. He br Jim Carrey brought his uh, insanity to the spotlight in a very, very well done way, and it also left room for a sequel. It had a little bit of a tease to show, yeah, there's very likely going to be a sequel, which I'm not going to lie, I would actually watch the sequel when it comes out. So, and I also wanted to stress on the importance that this movie has. Not only has it become possibly the highest grossing uh, video game movie, or very at the very least, the highest grossing opening weekend for any video game movie ever, but it is on track to be the highest grossing video game movie, period, which is big. Keep in mind, we have not had any great video game movies. We've had some great movies based off of comic book characters, but we have not, we've yet to see a movie wherein it was based off of a video game that was successful and that actually worked. Take a look at probably the most infamous example of bad video game movies, uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie, which I had the... I won't call it misfortune because I at least understand why it was bad, but I saw it. And, and it just unfortunately... It, or those movies just unfortunately didn't stick. Whereas Sonic somehow managed to pull it off they definitely improved massively on the look, and I think that it was a really big factor in why a lot of people went, because the studio actually listened to its fans and showed respect to the fandom. And I think is really, really telling. I think a few other studios could probably take some notes from that. But maybe this opens up the gate for better uh, storytelling in video game movies in the future. I think this might... You know, give that little bit of life into that genre where there previously really wasn't before. Or there wasn't any notice on it. So I think this movie is going to do a good job. And I think it did a good job, personally. Uh, would I see it again? Yeah. Unlike some movies in the past. <coughs> right, this guy, Walker. Um, I could actually see myself going back to the theater to watch it. Well, money-wise, probably not. But as far as enjoyment... I might consider it. So, anyways, uh, let me know if, if any of you guys have seen the movie, what your thoughts on it was. If you agree with me or if you disagree with me, you know, if, uh, my comments are always open. Feel free to share your opinions. And, yeah, I guess that's all I got for you guys this go around. But, yeah, I look forward to seeing what the studio puts out next. And a little, a little funny tidbit on the end. Anytime nin the first time Nintendo brought a mo uh, made a movie license based off of a video game, it bombed. But the first time that Sega had a movie based off a of video game, it succeeded. So I guess in this case, Sega did what Nintendo didn't. See you guys later. Signing off.